bottom community button. May I now request our esteemed guests to please come on stage. I will request our volunteers to escort them, please. Dr. Ilyas Hussain, former Pro Vice Chancellor, Jamia Millia Islamia University, and Honorable Chairperson, Matt Yorkin.
school, we felicitate Dr. Shweta Bhushan Mohan. Shrinji Karma Khan will accompany her. Now we shall proceed to the flower offering ceremony. I request our Honorable Principal Sir, Dr. Shubhendra Bhushan Mohan, to offer his flowering tribute to our late founder and notable educator, Sri Anandu Chandra Rao.
institution phenomenon and an icon extraordinary in fact words will fall short to praise a personality as colossal as him. born on 7th may 1861 at jorasha kothamibai in kolkata to maharshi devendranath tagore and sharada devi tagore was a pioneering figure in indian cultural trends tagore's idea of education was very unique he was against the customary system of education where students were confined within the four walls of a classroom he wanted education to be free from all barriers and amidst the lab of mother nature hence he established the premier institution vishwavidyalaya the course work cut across all boundaries and all barriers of time space caste gender language and religion the universal nature of his work addressed the whole humanity Tagore is also the creator of a new genre of music called Rabindra Sangeet, composing nearly 2,200 songs. He also wrote and composed the national anthems of India and Bangladesh, Janakalavana and Amar Shonazada, respectively. Tagore received the Nobel Prize in 1930 for the English translation of his work. Kitanjali song offerings making him the first asian to be rewarded with this prestigious award his work changed the artistic scenario for the days to come and left an everlasting imprint in the hearts and the minds of the people of the nation to be robbed ni robbed ni doyo you shall dwell in our hearts in silence like a full moon in the sun
artist's life is a cycle of ups and downs, happiness and loss, creation and destruction. Likewise, Tagore's life was too not bereft of fear. He lost his mother, Sharda Devi, at the young age of 14. Later on, he had to encounter the death of his sister-in-law, Kanakpuri Devi, his wife, Minakini Devi, and his son, Shamindra. This painful episode of loss left a deep impact on his mind, the resonance of which can be found in his paintings. The man who battled innumerable turmoil alone became the voice of the oldest. In 1919, Tagore relinquished knighthood that was previously conferred on him by the British government as a sign of protest for the Chalyan Badaha massacre. After years of social work and creative outbursts, the legend left for his heavenly award on 7th August 1940. Tagore once wrote, Amar Prane Pori Chole Galuki Boshonde Bakashu, which means, over my heart, someone walked in, like high breeze of spring. He went without sin and never returned. Although he is no longer amongst us, the God will always live in our hearts through his traditions. Thank you. 
ini
Thanks to all of you for such a heartwarming tribute. This evening is all about togetherness. Together, we shall celebrate joy, gratitude, art, aesthetics, and culture. To welcome you into this very occasion and further elevate the mood of celebration, our students will now usher you into a moving performance on the song Shoma Roke Kesho. Thank you. 
thank him for this interesting performance. Agra Ushtani said, Shish Bhavani. Oh, my God. 